Okay, this is an update on my uh, non-stop running uh, pulse motors. And uh, the reason for this video really is to show this right here. Uh, this is the Laser Saber Easy Spin. And uh, Cheyenne sent this to me without the coils being wound, but it was already built. I don't have a uh, 3D printer, so he sent me the part for it, then I built it up. And I tried all different kinds of circuits and ways to trigger it, but this right here is this complementary transistor uh, modified dad have circuit with a uh, super capacitor on it. And uh, this is as close to a perpetual motion machine as I've come up with. And it's been running um, since um, the summer. And it's now uh, coming up on February, so we're getting to the point where the sun uh, is going to hit it more and more every day. Uh, the sun comes in through here in the morning, and then in the afternoon it's on the other side of the house. And this isn't uh, where I normally live. This is the other location. But I leave this alone and come back once a week, and it didn't stop. And I think uh, from here on in it's just going to keep on running. The... Uh, 2.7 volt the supercapacitor is starting to bulge on the top which means it's being overcharged it's getting more energy during the day than it uses at night and this may end up bursting uh, but like I say this is as close to a perpetual motion machine as I've come up with it's the uh, laser saber easy spin you'll have to look it up and then uh, the circuit is that two transistor circuit but here's my all my other ones here uh, this one here has stopped a couple of times, and it's a bearing failure. The, the batteries are fine, but the bearings uh, have an issue. And so this would have to be refined with uh, bearings like this, which are sapphire bearings. Here's another one that runs most of the time, but once in a while it stops. This was the real easy one. It was just one of these solar waivers that I put a battery on. And that has run nonstop using... Uh, a little AAA alkaline battery, which could be used a super capacitor. And there's um, one of my uh, solar powered uh, devices, and there's a whole bunch of them uh, going on down there too. But now this is where I work when I come up here. Is this is the table where I am able to do my lid motor thing and leave it messy while I'm gone, and then I come up here uh, once a week and check everything out. This uh, this house but here's another one over here on the uh, in the living room which is the uh, one I call the yearling motor and that one has run pretty much uh, reliably except it does have a bearing issue and once in a while I come up here and it's stopped so I have to restart it the idea on that one was to run a year on a AAA battery and uh, might make it might not I'm not sure um, anyway, that's the uh, st status on my uh, non-stop running uh, motors in the uh, situation here at my other location. Here's another one that's gone, and they're all using that complementary transistor circuit uh, that uh, I've shown many, many times before. It's a modified dad have circuit, and... Uh, there's the circuit that I've been using. Hope you can see that. But this is my little messy work area that I leave messy up here because it's uh, really how lid motor does his thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching.